The reason why it's important to deal with matters of authorship and authenticity and date in a New Testament introduction is because if you don't deal with them, then students tend to pick up by osmosis what they're reading from other books. For example, it's not uncommon for students to come to the conclusion just from general reading. Um, if Paul didn't write uh, Ephesians, it doesn't really make much difference. If uh, Peter didn't write uh, 1 and 2 Peter, that doesn't make much difference either, uh, and so forth. But there are two or three things that have to be borne in mind. Number one is the truth claim of Scripture itself. Um, if the book claims to be by Paul or by Peter, uh, then that has to be taken seriously, or sooner or later your confidence in the truthful speech of the text is undermined. And in the second place, what people then frequently do is resort to a second argument, namely, there was this category of pseudonymous writing in the first century that everybody recognized was pseudonymous. So if Paul didn't write, let's say, the pastoral epistles, and everybody recognized that he didn't write the pastoral epistles, then it's not lying. It's just a recognized genre, that, that, that's all. The difficulty is that uh, the texts of the New Testament themselves uh, don't belong to a recognized genre of pseudonymous letters in the first century. There isn't any such thing. There's lots of pseudonymity in, 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 in uh, first century literature, but of personal letters, there, there, there just isn't any. And sooner or later, the, the truth claims are really important. You read 2 Peter and it's pretty obvious the author is talking about his own experience of being present at the transfiguration of Jesus well, if you take that seriously, that reduces you to three people, and, and one of them is Peter. E either Peter wrote it, or someone is lying through his teeth uh, in order to pretend that it's written by Peter, and that eventually casts back then on how you read the entire letter and what confidence you have in the truth claims of Scripture and so forth. So sooner or later, questions of, of pseudonymity touch questions of authenticity, believability, uh, the proximity of the authors to Jesus when they claim to be close to him as witnesses and friends and so forth. So it, it begins to affect how you read all of the New Testament documents. It's not something that ought to be skipped over quickly.